Welcome to Car Scene Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Kia cars. And the car I have behind me right over there is Kia Niro EV. Just word of an advice that this car is not officially debuted yet. So this perhaps might be just a pre-production model. But let me show you in detail what Kia Niro EV looks like as well as go through some of the differences with Niro EV and Nero Hybrid. For detailed exterior review and up close look of this Nero EV, come check out that video right there. I've covered it extensively already. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Nero EV. And I think this is the same car that we have seen from the last auto show. So if you haven't seen it, go check that video out. But I pulled out the camera real quick so that I can give you a walk around as well as give you a difference and comparison with the Nero EV to that of the HEV. Let's get started with the front of the car right away. I can immediately see that the front grille has been covered up completely. So the front of the grille is completely covered up just like any other EV except for the bottom portion is cut open for sucking in the air and some of the cooling essential for the EVs as well. As for the headlights, I can't see any difference compared to that of the uh, hybrid model. But come around here with the, their brand new Tiger Face identity is also shown on the upper grille and the portion as well. The front cover is of course for the charging port and when that one opens up probably they have the DC combo type. Alright so let's go take a walk around. The cladding right here it's in silver. The plastic cladding that we are familiar with. However, this time Nero EV does not get the piano black or matte plastic. However, it's just a well finished in silver tone. And that's also stretched out all the way to the side skirt right here. And also is connected and carried out to the cladding over here as well. This portion is a little bit disconnected. I don't know what people might have to say about that, but it comes down to this amazing blade right here on the C pillar. This is the Nero's identity that separates the cars from its segment, if not all of the cars from the Kia family. And on the rear bumper, the silver is connected and continued. Look at this car from the back. You can't really tell if it's the Nero EV or not. If this color is exclusively to Nero EV, then what might one might be able to tell that this is a Nero EV, but not really the case. So this uh, outlet is also cut open. There you go. So you can see the opening right there. So this is actually a functional blade that air is traveled through right there. So take a look at this profile. And honestly, there is not thing much different. However, today's video is what? Focusing on the difference between the EV and the hybrid. So let me give you this, the wheels and tires that is different. Of course, not just about the design, but size of the tires. 215, 55, 17, and this is from Nexon and Prize S. Gotta look up, but you see, obviously, this is ex EV exclusive tire for the comfort drive and also the best. I don't wanna say MPG, but I still gotta get that vocabulary right. So, the best kilowatt hour possible with this tire. So the same size is used, it's also the design. So it's a square setup, same size all around, one, two, three, and four. And let's see, let's see, let's really pay a close look at what the difference is, but I just cannot find any. So the wheels and tires, blades, and the side skirt color that is exclusively Nero EV. Other than that, <laughs> you see there really, really is merely nothing that I can tell from the outside. Oh, it's completely tinted out. So we can't see, I can't see anything. Um, Kia, of course, as we all know, they have not released the car just yet. So this is the prototype. If not, you know, maybe this should have been in the labs. Probably this is what they have pulled out. So we can't really see anything from the outside just yet. 
This is the characteristic found on EVs and hybrid that target towards the best mileage possible. That is shield kind of shape that reduces the drag out of the car and also marginal and minimal cut to ventilate the heat from the brake pads and rotors. However, the heat is not really there because the EVs reduce their speed down first using the regen brake on the car. And that being said, let's take a look at other EVs. So here I have Kia EV6. So that wheel pattern and design is also evidently found on this car as well. So this is the front of the wheel of the EV6, marginal cuts and outlets to maximize the best mileage possible while keeping the design sleek in that shield pattern type and so here in front of me I have lists of EV awards collection for 2022 self-explanatory so I have Audi right here so that design wheel pattern is also seen together with Mercedes-Benz they have the EQS so for the EQS they have gone with the, you know better choice of the design right there Polestar 2 same thing mostly covered up Genesis GV60 and this is BMW iX and also mostly the wheel is all covered up it's not just around the corner it's not even the future no more the EVs these EVs that we see right behind us is the production model cars so EV no longer is the future but a viable option that I have don't forget to subscribe and like the channel if you did share the video and I'll see you in the next video